Hello, my name is Jim Shramsky and I'm with Binsfeld Engineering. We manufacture transmitters for rotating sensors. I will now demonstrate how to properly install a bondable strain gauge to the surface of a shaft for the purpose of torque measurement. There are six steps to this process. Step 1. Prepare the surface of the shaft. Step 2. Mark the shaft for gauge orientation. Step 3. Prepare the gauge for mounting. Step 4. Position the gauge on the shaft. Step 5. Glue the gauge. And finally, step 6. Attach the lead wires and optionally protect the gauge. I will now show you the things you'll need to do the job right. These are the first items you'll need. We recommend strain gauge products manufactured by Vache Micromeasurements. This is a package of general purpose torque pattern strain gauges. And this is the application kit. It contains all the chemicals, the degreaser, acid and base solutions, and adhesive that you'll need to install the strain gauge. You'll need a few other items as well. You'll want to size up your shaft surface. In this case, I don't have any grease, so there's no need to use the degreaser. I do have some rust, and I see some fairly deep scratches on the surface. So I'm going to start with the coarse grit emery cloth. Take a nice piece of emery cloth that you can hold on to easily, and begin sanding. Now here's what the shaft surface looks like after I've used the coarse grit emery cloth. So now I'm going to take a piece of the 220 grit sandpaper, uh, probably about a foot long, and I'm going to go ahead and apply the same technique and sand this area of the shaft. Alright, now here's what it looks like after the 220 grit sandpaper. Now I'm going to do the same process with the 440 grit sandpaper. Again, I get about a foot long piece of the sandpaper. Here's what my shaft surface looks like now that I've used the 400 grit sandpaper. The next step is using the M-Prep conditioner, which is an acidic solution to perform a wet sand on the surface. So now I'm going to take the acidic uh, solution and apply it to the shaft surface like so. And again with the 400 grit paper perform a wet sand. Now that you've finished your wet sanding you again take the M-Prep conditioner and rinse the area. Then follow it up with the M-Prep neutralizer, which is the basic solution, with the blue nozzle versus the red. Rinse it down very well. Then you take the lint-free gauze. It's good to start in the center using one side of the gauze pressing firmly and wipe away from the center and you can see the amount of dirt that just came off the shaft take a fresh gauze and do the same thing on the other side of the area okay and just keep repeating this process I gotta hit the other side of the shaft and you just uh, check your gauze and make sure that it is completely clean and it is. Alright, now we're going to mark the surface for gauge orientation. In this case I'm just going to worry about the vertical markings so I'm going to use a piece of paper 
strip chart paper and snug it up so that's right through the center of the prepped area and there is tape for applying the strain gauge in the application kit. I'm going to use a piece of that tape now to secure my paper once I get it aligned properly and that looks pretty good right there and it's nice and tight. I'm going to tape my paper down. I'll leave a little tab so I can get it off here in a minute. I'm going to get the permanent marker. The string gauge is approximately a one inch square. So I'm going to mark here and here, which is about an inch away, a little bit beyond that. And I'm going to remove the paper. I have a nice guideline for applying the gauge. Now we're going to prepare the gauge for mounting. There's a spool of instrumentation wire in a plastic case that's in the application kit. And the case itself actually provides a nice surface for laying the strain gauge so that you can apply the tape, which is also included. So take the M-Prep neutralizer and apply some to the surface. Take lint-free gauze and wipe that clean. We're just providing a very clean surface. Cleanliness is obviously very critical. Anytime you're dealing with adhesives, the cleanliness of the surface is very important. And it's no different here. So now I have a clean surface. I'm going to take up my package of strain gauges. As you can see, they come in a small sleeve. And in the sleeve, they're also in another small folder, if you will. And I like to grab the strain gauges in this area where the pads are, as it's a non-sensing area in the gauge. I'm just going to lay it on there and kind of square it up. You can see why using tweezers is important. Uh, your, the oils from your finger can impede the adhesion to the shaft. Now I'm going to take a piece of the tape that's provided in the kit. I'm going to fold back the ends like so and do my best not to touch the center area. Now it's not critical that the edge of the tape is aligned with the edge of the strain gauge, but it does make your life easier. So I'm going to use my thumb, like so, above the tape. And I'm going to quickly in one motion apply the tape to the gauge. Just like that. And it looks like the edge of the tape is in a nice alignment with the edge of the strain gauge and I'll be ready to pull that up and put it on my shaft. Now I'm going to pull the gauge up carefully from the plastic container using a shallow angle in order to keep the gauge on the tape and I'm going to align those triangles that you see on the top and bottom for a vertical alignment with my markings. That looks very good right there.